my loves and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I have no makeup on and that is because I'll be doing a makeup tutorial for you all. So starting off, I am going to be using my favorite moisturizer, which is the CeraVe. It's perfect for those who have dry skin like me. Now we're going to move on into the foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I am going to use the Real Technique sponge to apply the foundation to my face. As you can tell, I'm doing patting motions just in order to get the foundation all over my face in a smooth way. And honestly, the sponge just leaves a flawless look. Now moving on into my favorite concealer. This is from Urban Decay and the shade is Light. Are you guys ready for what I'm about to do to my face? Just don't even... You can go ahead and start laughing. <laughs> I know I'm going to look so funny. But basically what I'm doing is drawing lines into the areas that I want to highlight my face. Alright, so now moving on to my favorite part of my makeup. I love, love, love this powder. It's a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And I'm going to apply a little bit of the product into the lid. And with the help of the sponge, I am going to get some of the powder. And I'm going to apply it right where I put the highlight. So, as you can tell, I'm just patting, patting, patting. And again, you can start laughing now because I will look extra crazy now. Ha <laughs> Alright, so we're going to let that settle into our face for about 10 to 15 minutes, so we're going to wait a little while. And as we're waiting, we might as well just start on the brows. I love this brow pencil so much from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's amazing. It saved my life. Alright, so I went ahead and finished my brows off camera to save some time. And now I'm going to use this brush from my brush set collections. And I'm going to dust off all the powder that I had on my face. Yeah, the baking process is no joke. It takes a while, but it's so worth it once we start doing the contour. So you can actually tell the highlights from the shadows. Oh, oops. I forgot to put some clear brow gel into my eyebrows so this is amazing you guys your brow hair will not move it's pretty much like hairspray I'm going to put everything in place next up i am going to use my eco tools brush and my kat von d shade light contour palette and i'm going to use those two light colors in order to start contouring this defined brush I am going to start contouring my nose and I'm pretty much just going to draw a line on both sides of my nose so it looks more defined and then I'm going to bring it over into my eyelids that way it looks let's say natural 
<laughs> but I mean, come on, let's just keep it real. You and I both know there's nothing natural looking about this. <laughs> so now with a fluffy brush, I am going to blend in all the hard edges. That way it doesn't look rough. Alright, so now I'm going to use that brush and I'm going to dip into the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to get some of the product and apply it to the side of my nose to give it that really nice definition. And now I'm going to move on into the eyeshadow process. Let's move on into the eyeliner. This one right here is from Tarte and it is a two-sided eyeliner with one being pencil and the other one being a marker. So I'm going to use the marker portion of it and I'm going to start drawing in my eyeliner. into the eyeliner this one right here is from NYX and it is white so what this does is make your eyes appear a lot bigger as you can see it's so beautiful and it's so creamy now moving on into mascara I'm trying out this new mascara from L'Oreal I've heard a lot of good stuff about it so I wanted to give it a try and it's actually not that bad it makes my lashes seem a lot thicker than they naturally are so I'm, I'm actually liking this mascara a lot um, so moving on to this beautiful creamy eyeshadow from L'Oreal, I'm just going to put a little bit of it into my outer corners. And voila! These are my lashes from Huda Beauty. And I must say these are my favorite lashes. Now moving on into my blush. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill and Becca collaboration. I'll be using all three of those blushes. I know it sounds a little cray cray, but trust me, it, it just comes out so beautiful. I really, really love this color. I must say a little bit of this blush goes a long way. It's so pigmented. Now moving on into the highlighter. Oh my god, I love, love, love this glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I mean, come on, this packaging is just everything. I'll be using this one right here. It's called Sunburst. And it's kind of of a, I don't know, like a yellow undertone. It's going to look really nice on my skin. It's going to give me that really nice natural glow. So you can see, I'm already glowing. I'm shining. <laughs> you guys, for real though, I put so much of this product. I'm obsessed. Alright, so moving on to the lips. This one is from ColourPop. I'm just going to line my lips. And this one right here is from Huda Beauty. I'm going to name everything that I use today on the description box below. So just make sure to check it out if you have any questions on all the products that I use and we're wondering where I got them from. I'll leave it on the description box. Now I'm going to outline my lips with this really thin brush and I use my concealer from Urban Decay. And I'm just lightly going to outline my lips and what this is going to do is make sure there's no rough edges and it's also going to make your lipstick pop a little bit more. And yes girl, look at this color, so beautiful. And voila, we're all done. <laughs> so that is all for today's video let me know how you guys liked it let me know if you want to see any more makeup tutorials as well thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and until next time assalamualaikum